All right, Mish. So um, I'm doing the, the journalist jobs, uh, job here. Um, I've got, got a couple of questions for you. First of all, how do you enjoy peanut tar in Spain so far? Well, um, the weather is a lot better than in Scotland, so I enjoy that. Um, trainings, I also enjoying it. It's tough, but it's, it's good. Good to be here. Probably twice as hot as, as it is back home in, uh, in Glasgow, it isn't is, it? It is. <laughs> it is. And the uh, humidity is also a lot higher, so, well, it's a challenge, but we're doing good so far. Yeah. See if we can get a bit of a tan after Indeed. this week is over. <laughs> okay, so my first question for you is, how have you settled into the club so far? It's going good. Like, the city is also nice. Like I said before, a lot of rain, but for the rest, I'm, I'm happy. You've explored a little bit already, right? I did, Walking I did. Down I went to the city center for some shopping um, and to the West End for a good coffee with you. So, How are you finding the experience of playing abroad away from Belgium for the first time? Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I first came here I was a little bit scared just to be in a new team and be in another country on my own. But I think like with this team you cannot be unhappy and they are all really nice girls and if you just like talk with them it's enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with that. Do you feel like this experience will help you grow as an individual and as a player? Yeah, definitely. It's like you learn to know yourself, but also like on the pitch the, the level is higher. So you start picking up things that you didn't know before. Um, so that's great. Do you feel like the level is higher than what you're used to back home in Belgium? Um, well, in general it is and also like I think uh, training wise people expect a lot from themselves and from the team so it makes everyone better. What was it that made you take the leap abroad? Well, I played four years for the same team in Belgium for Anderlecht. Um, I really loved it there, nice people, nice nice atmosphere, all my friends were there. Yeah, close but to family and friends. Yeah, Family and friends indeed. Um, but I think for me personally, it was just time to make a next step, uh, grew as a person and explore some new things, so so far so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Do you hope to uh, be involved with the Belgium national team as well, a bit more? As a yeah, so my first calling up was in... Uh, nice one, Bex. <laughs> I was first called up in February, so of course you always hope that every next time you're with the national team. Yeah. Um, so we will see. I think if my performance here is good, that the, the, chance, the chances will be there. Yeah, well, I hope so. We all hope so for yeah. you. Um, last question is, how excited are you for the season ahead? Very excited. I think our only goal can be to be champion and to win the cup. So let's go for it. There's actually one thing you need to know about Michelle. She has only, like, from, the, from when she started playing football, yeah. There are only, and this is from a very young age. Nine years. From yeah. nine years old, you've only two years have not become champions. Is Indeed. that right? That's right. I played always with the boys team. Very nice group, very nice people. Um, so we always became champion because in my opinion, the boys were too good to play on that level, but they stayed because the group was nice. Um, and then I played for Genk, Leuven. And you Anderlecht. always became champion? Yeah, only not in Genk and one year in Leuven. So. Right. That was great. So this track record hopefully sets you up for a successful we year at Rangers. We need to keep going indeed. Exactly. So. Thank you Mish for your time. Thank you.